This is tube food used by U2 spy plane pilots. We got caffeinated apple pie, polenta with cheese and bacon, and beef stew. Each one weighs approximately 5 ounces or 141 grams, give or take a few. The tube is non-magnetic. They're aluminum containers and have been produced for over 50 years now, with about 28,000 tubes made annually. That's just enough for the 100 or so active pilots that are using them. Let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. Okay, let's first start off by checking out that caffeinated apple pie. Contains 100 milligrams of caffeine. Caution, do not use if tube is swollen. Looks a little banged up, but it's okay. Tubed March 30th, 2021. Right, let's put on that straw. Check this out. Specially threaded for these tubes. The feeding straw will connect to their helmet. They have a special helmet and suit that protects them at altitudes of 60 to 70,000 feet, or they'll end up boiling up. Nice. Makes them look like a astronaut. These yellow suits. Okay, let's go. Did you hear that? It's a nice little hiss. Whoa. It has like chewable texture to it. It's kind of thick. It's not like baby food. This is a thicker puree. And it tastes just like apple pie. I mean, Tart and sweet. I mean, it tastes like it has like actual crust and everything in there. It's not just like apples with some kind of thickener. Nice undertone of cinnamon. Look at that. Here, check this out. Hmm. There are 19 different menu options. Let's get a good look at this. And nine main courses or entrees. Five fruits and then five desserts. A little bit difficult to get out of the tube. Like if you were only using one hand, it could take a while. These pilots will go on 12 hour flight missions and they end up eating one of these per hour on average. They pick out their favorite menus, find what agrees with their systems most. All of the menus are mild. Can't have anything spicy or this difficult to squeeze out. I'll say that much. This is gonna be a two hand job. Seems like the tube could be a little bit fragile. But yeah, they can go number one up there. They can't go number two. They have to have a very specific diet beforehand, mild foods, and be able to go beforehand, and not up there. They cannot do it. You gotta hold it in. These two foods are specially designed to not aggravate or agitate the bowels. So there's low risk of having to go up there. This stuff's been produced for over 50 years. I can imagine there's a little bit of food waste. You might only be able to squeeze about 90% out, 90 to 95. Seems to be a little left in there. They even have a small heater to heat up the main courses. So I might go ahead and do that with the polenta with cheese and bacon. There's a chicken a la king, pasta bolognese, of course beef stew. Try and get out this last bit. No coffee, so they have to caffeinate a few of them. They have a jazzy mac. That's what they call it. Chocolate pudding. And then this. The pilots really enjoy this stuff. I can see why, at least with this one. Let's get that last bit out. No bitterness from the caffeine. Just over a standard cup of coffee's worth. 
100 milligrams. It's not bad. Check that out. Kind of looks like applesauce. It has a thicker consistency and much thicker than baby food and a lot more flavor. This, hmm, I'm telling you. It's a lot easier eating it like this. You can just barely finish a tube of that, my guess, with one hand. The first 15 years of U2 spy planes usage, there wasn't anything like this. They probably were having all sorts of accidents. Its first flight was August 1st, 1955. 1956, there were three fatalities, three crashes. These things are not easy to fly. They have to stay alert, well-nourished, well-hydrated while they're up there. Let's check out the polenta with cheese and bacon next. They also have hash browns with bacon, bacon, beef stroganoff, a peach melba, key lime pie. There's even a truffle mac. Here, I'm going to warm this up in hot water. We're heating this up slowly but surely. I forgot to mention, these things have a three-year shelf life if stored at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That meets the Department of Defense logistical supply chain requirements. We heated this up. Listen. It thins it out. It's much better warming up all of the tubes. And again, they have a tube heater that warms these up in their spy planes. Those things are really difficult to fly. Poor visibility. You know, there are only about a hundred U-2 spy plane pilots. Between the hundred of them, only 28,000 of these things are produced a year between those 19 menus. So they're really difficult to get. This took me a while and were not easy to come by. Savory. Hmm. Wow. This is even better than the apple pie. I almost feel like the apple pie should have been warmed up. I, I had that cold. But it also indicates that they're best heated up. Polenta with cheese and bacon. If you hear it anywhere where it says pretty much the same consistency of baby food. That's incorrect. It's thicker than that. A prevalent cornmeal and bacon flavor. It tastes like bacon with grits. It's like a nice breakfast menu. Thick chunks of bacon. You can actually chew it. Mm. Tastes like American cheese. This one was tubed August 18th, 2020. It's almost three years old. Definitely comes out much easier once heated up. Pretty much empty. That one was much more efficient. It's test approved. They actually enjoy it because they picked it. Look at that cornmeal. It's all stuff these pilots actually look forward to eating. Natick Soldier Research Development and Engineering Center. They do a great job at whipping up some truly palatable tube foods. Once warmed up, it's easier to eat out of that tube than it is with a spoon. Wow. Nice little chunks of bacon. Outstanding. We got Jazzy Mac with cheese, the peach melba, caffeinated apple pie. There's also a caffeinated chocolate pudding. And you know, one pilot was reported when he first ate his tube food, he didn't really know what he was doing. He had some chocolate pudding and it burst. He like 
mishandled it and thing popped open. Look at this. It's probably like this one. But yeah, he was covered in chocolate pudding. Look at that. What a shame. It's not like USMRE or Meal Ready to Eat Individuals Retort Pouch Tech. Those can be tossed around and folded even. That's a puncture from this dent here. And again, it proves how fragile these things are. It's not like a combat ration per se. Gosh, it smells so savory. It's almost an accentuated savory, right? And it's something you definitely don't want to consume. I've decided I'm going to save it for display. I'm going to put it back in my freezer. Plus, if I have any bruises on the inside of my hand, it's great to grip on this. Just like that. It's worked wonders. Maybe I could do this, a little compromise. Let's check it out. Just a little, give it a little squeeze. Oh, that's so chunky. Yeah, it's not coming out. Well, that's as good as it gets. It's too strong. Yeah, it's, it's foul. And I'm going to keep it in the tube and throw it back in the freezer. But you can see kind of what it looks like. My apologies. I just, I'm going to keep it sealed, especially for what it cost. Maybe I could trade it or something. I might be able to put it to better use and acquire another ration if I empty it from the bottom and keep the, the cylinder in shape. Someone could use it for display. And look at this. Too bad because it was March 2nd, 2022, which means I'm looking for more of these. This is just an introductory. Two for three, that's a good start. So this was U.S. Air Force U-2 spy plane pilot tube food. What an experience. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.